welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to finally film this hair tutorial using some new extensions that were actually sent to me by Goo Goo Hair. So this video is not sponsored but they did send me these hair extensions and I just wanted to give a little bit of a disclaimer in that aspect. But of course it's not sponsored as I said so I'm just using the hair extensions and I absolutely love the way it turned out. So this is kind of like my favorite hairstyle to do. So I do have pretty long hair naturally but these extensions just add such length which I think is so nice especially when you curl your hair because naturally the curls will make your hair look shorter so I love the fact that I can have curly hair and still have really long hair and these extensions match my hair perfectly they are a hundred percent Remy human hair so you could wash them you could use heat products it's just they're really amazing so I talk about them a little bit more in the video so you guys will see everything in full detail and all the explanations and everything. So these are kind of like my old Hollywood style waves which I love. They're my favorite um, curly like waves to do. I pretty much only do this when I curl my hair. I don't really like the ringlet look so I love some good old Hollywood style waves. So if you guys want to see how I got my hair to look like this and obviously I talk a little bit about the hair extensions and my review will be at the end. So if you guys want to see this tutorial and the hair extensions then please keep on watching okay guys so let's get right into this hair tutorial using these extensions here so I'm really excited to film this because I have gotten a lot of requests to film some hair tutorials how I do my hair how I curl my hair I usually have like the classic wave like wavy kind of hair which is like what I love personally whenever I curl my hair I always um, go towards more of like the waves like the old Hollywood waves so I love that look and I'm so excited to show you guys that look using some fun hair extensions you guys might be wondering why I would need hair extensions I do have a pretty long hair as you guys can see it is pretty long these are just a little bit longer and it will make my hair thicker which is what I like I have found that my hair has been thinning out a bit um, I do have naturally curly hair so this is just kind of like blow dried a little bit straight but it's still like a little bit frizzy because I didn't use any hair products or like heat in it yet but um, I'm excited to try out these hair extensions. So I actually used ex hair extensions just once in my life before and it was actually for my sister's wedding but they were nice extensions but they weren't that long i just found that they were pretty much the same length as my natural hair and they just added a little bit of thickness but i wasn't that impressed because when i curl my hair my hair does get a lot shorter so i kind of wanted really long hair extensions that would look long like very long still even when it is curled so goo goo hair extensions were nice enough to send me a pair of hair extensions that i wanted so naturally i chose the longest ones that they have these are their 24 inch hair extensions in the shade chocolate brown i believe i will link all the details and everything in the description box for you guys of course but this i feel like matches my hair almost perfectly so i do have more of like a dusty like chocolatey brown color so i feel like these are perfect. I love the little box that they come in. And they also include a nice little hair clip and of course a little pamphlet here where it tells you how to put them in and everything you need to know about them. They are 100% runny hair so that is great. You could wash them, brush them, use heat products on them and you don't have to worry because it is natural hair so just treat it as you would treat your own hair. So I have the clip-in hair extensions and so my set comes with seven clip-ins. You have like the longer ones for the back of the head and they also give you the option of like shorter ones with like one or two clips. So all together we have seven. You don't have to use all seven. I'm not sure how many I'm going to use. This is my first time putting them in for you guys and then I'm going to be curling my hair. So we will see how it goes and how much I feel like I will need. But without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to start by just separating my hair so I can use the longest clip-ins for the back of my head. Okay, so I'm trying to separate my hair here. I'm trying to make it so that I have the longest piece at the very bottom underneath and it was hard for me to kind of really get an even separation but I'm doing my best and I'm just gonna hold the rest up with a clip or a ponytail and as you can see I'm unclipping the four strand clip there so this is the longest one it has four clips and I'm trying to get as close to the root as I possibly can and then you just clip them in it's very easy also what can help is if you tease the root of your hair a bit I didn't end up doing that because my hair is actually pretty curly but 
for next time I might even do that a little bit just so they feel a little more snug in there but I didn't really feel like that was a problem but I just clip them in it's very quick make sure that they're in nice and snug then I'm just adding another layer there and now this is the three clip one so that goes in the back as well I'm just clipping it in making sure that I have the clips in pretty tightly And then I also have another three layer clip there. So I'm putting that on at the side just to really build up some thickness. And of course the length is really great. These are the 24 inch extensions. So it's nice and long. I'm just making sure it's nice and flat on my head. Then I'm taking my hair into two separate parts like the front and the back. So I'm separating the top and bottom from the left part of my head and going in with the smaller extension clips. This one I believe is the two clip one, so that's going right along the side there. You wanna make sure that you put the extensions in deep enough so they won't show through and that you have enough hair covering. So I'm really kind of making sure to leave enough space and enough hair at the top so you won't see the extension showing through, but these honestly blend in pretty nicely once like my hair was down. And I'm just adding another two piece extension just on top of that other area there. So that adds a lot of thickness and that's pretty much it for that side. And now I'm going to the other side and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm repeating the process. I didn't really have a mirror in front of me, so I was kind of looking into the viewfinder of my camera. So it was hard to me to be like really precise. But of course, when you're doing it yourself and you can actually see much better, it will be a little bit easier. Mine would got a little bit sloppy, but in the end it ended up turning out okay. And I was just so surprised with how easy everything was, as you can see how long and beautiful the extensions are. So now I'm gonna go in with this T3 curling wand. This one has the clip attached to it, but of course I want the Hollywood waves. So I am just taking the waves facing away from me and I'm curling them there. I'm just lifting the clip handle. I have a nice protective glove. You wanna make sure because it gets really hot. You don't wanna burn yourself. So I'm just repeating that process all along my hair and I'm kind of scrunching the pieces that I want to make sure they stay nice and curled. So it's a process, I'm just taking every piece, I'm keeping it all in the same direction, and I'm really making sure to tightly curl the hair there, and you don't want the curls to be like open. It's kind of hard to explain, but when you're doing the Hollywood waves, you wanna kind of have the hair like twirled almost. So now the important part is this clip part. I have just these little clips, and. I like to take the front pieces of my hair because that really shapes the face and I like to have those front parts set. So I'm just gonna leave that front part there. All the other parts of my hair, I feel like I don't really need to clip. So as you can see, I did the exact same thing to the other side. I have the two front pieces clipped and I left them in for about 15 to 20 minutes. The longer, the better, just so they set. Then I'm taking them out and it really does keep that front part of your hair like super nice and it just like really keeps those curls in lasting so much longer. I find that I don't need to do that for the rest of my hair just because it's a long step but if you have the time and the patience you totally can but I just find doing the front really does make such a difference. Just look at that wave then I'm kind of brushing it out a little bit. I also have a little teasing brush that sometimes I will tease the curls a little bit just to make them more fluffy. So I'm just brushing it out there and I just wanna make sure not to really brush the front part out too much because you still wanna make sure that you see that nice curl there. So that's important because sometimes if you brush out the front too much, then you will lose that definition and you definitely do not want that to happen. Okay guys, so that is the final tutorial using those Goo Goo Hair hair extensions and that T3 curling wand. As you guys saw, that was the curling iron. It wasn't the wand, but it has like the little clip there to do more ringlets, but I actually just like to lift the clip up and just use it like a wand. I have other just like curling wands, but for some reason that T3 one is just so good and I find it just makes my waves last a lot longer. 
So hopefully you guys saw everything in detail in the video properly. I was really trying to show you guys like up close. It was just kind of hard to film because this hair is so long. So it's hard to get like the full view of like how long it is but hopefully you guys can tell just how long <laughs> these extensions are as i said these were the 24 inch ones and i am obsessed i cannot lie when i actually looked in the mirror and you can actually like visualize how long these look and it just makes my hair look so much thicker and of course longer they're the longest ones that they sell i believe the 24 inch ones so i am obsessed this hair color also does match me perfectly so if you guys have hair this color then I definitely recommend this chocolate brown one. I absolutely love these extensions. They're so easy to use. Honestly, you just clip them in. Just make sure that you don't have clips showing, of course. And I actually did not use all the clips. I left two of them out. I didn't think I really needed them, but it's nice to have the option to even add more if you want. But I just love it. I love the way these curls turn. These are like my favorite curls to do, the Hollywood waves. So as you guys saw, I use that clip there. Just always in like the front two pieces especially just to really make sure that those stay really wavy because that kind of frames like your face and gives you like that curl look which I love and I just love these types of curls so I hope that you guys like this video I definitely recommend those Goo Goo hair extensions they are amazing and they're very affordable I was looking they're like one of the most affordable ones on the market so of course I will link everything in the description box and my color and um exact hair extensions that I use for this video. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.